read my lifeline. What up, people? It's your man, Slim Jim Longfoot, a.k.a. The Goat, King of America. Welcome to day 149 of my daily vlog series, Diabetes and I. Yo, if this is your first time here, make sure it's not your last time, you feel me? So welcome aboard. And of course, welcome back to all my regular people, you know what I'm saying, who pop up in here every now and then, you know what I'm saying, just to check out your boy on the daily, you feel me? Because this is day 149. I have been doing this for 148 days straight. You know, 148 days ago was day one, which was March the 4th, 2020. You know what I'm saying? On a Wednesday, on a hump day, you dig? Anyway, we up in here right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm stirring up my oatmeal. I'm getting ready to um, check my um, readings for yesterday. What I meant to do before I started the camera, actually, was because uh, I know I got to um, put in my meal for yesterday on my uh, on my daily vlog for yesterday so what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna do that while i'm doing that what i like for you guys to do go ahead and you know you know like this video you know what i'm saying because it is premiering right now um share this video you know so people other people can be like oh snap go live let me go see and of uh, uh, course you know comment below if you're in the live chat premiere you know what i'm saying go ahead and comment below and last but not least, subscribe to the channel, baby. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel. Ring that notification bell so you can keep up on everything GOAT, everything Slim Jim Longfoot. From this daily vlog series right here to my art video series, GOAT1408 TV. Uh, my how-to videos for small YouTubers. Um, I got a premiere later on today, um, the last part of... Ghost of Tsushima, a uh, video game that came out a couple of weeks ago that my cousin been playing, Grand Hustle 1017, and much, much more to the channel. Yesterday, I dropped a uh, little short video of um, me drawing Annie Dubay, who is an awesome YouTuber who does uh, videos showing um, YouTubers how to better their channel. And she just recently celebrated 50,000 subscribers. She has now 50,000 subscribers, so I did a quick sketch of her yesterday. And you know, I posted that up here on this, on this channel and on my Instagram. So shout outs to Annie um, for reaching her plateau, as well as um, Captain Perry, who uh, reached um, a thousand subscribers yesterday. So shout outs to her. Um, I actually recorded uh, the footage, you know, of, you know, me counting down, you know, watching you know, her subscribers go up when I was live yesterday doing my live stream celebrating me reaching a thousand hours. We reached a thousand hours on here. That means y'all done spent a thousand plus hours watching your boy, whether it's been my face or whether it's been my art. So I appreciate y'all, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, straight up. Um, so right now, that's what I'm currently doing. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. Of course, you know what I'm saying, I started this daily vlog, Diabetes and I, to chronicle, you know, my journey into eating better, doing better with, you know, everything, all of the above, you dig? That was, that's the whole journey of this daily vlog, to showcase what I'm doing, you know, every day to better my eating habits, um, you know, after my crash um, and diagnosis back on February the 27th of 2020. If you like to know more about that, you know, check that info tab right there. You know, where is that form right there? Um, where, you know, I'm talking about that on uh, day, what was that, day 147 when I did my story time on that. So, uh, yeah, so check that out. You know, check that out. Uh, I do believe that was day 147. But what's the day? Today is what, the 30th, right? Yeah, so 147, yeah, because, uh, well, what day was the 27th? Yeah, the 27th was on Monday, so that was uh three days ago. Three days ago, so that was uh, day 146. That was day 146. Yeah, 146, 147, 148, 149. Yeah, 146 um, when I did my story time right there. Uh, commemorating five months since that happened. Um, so, yeah, we up in here. We, 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 we cooling it right now. I'm, um, chronicling what I had for lunch yesterday, y'all. What I had for lunch yesterday, I had a chef salad yesterday. 
I had uh, romaine lettuce, cucumbers, bacon bits, deli ham, grape tomatoes, ACV with the mother in it, Parmesan cheese, Cali French dressing. I'm trying to remember if I put shrimp in there or not. I don't think I did. I might have, but I don't remember putting shrimp in there. I don't think I did though. I can't remember if I had shrimp in that chef salad yesterday or not. I think I did. I did. So let me put shrimp in there. I did have shrimp in there. I did have shrimp in there. And for dinner last night, I did something that I won't do again because frying chicken is not my specialty, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all that now. Frying chicken is not my specialty. But the good news about that is it got cooked. So I fried some chicken last night. No, no flour. So I didn't, I didn't, you know, I, you know, I didn't put no flour on it. You know what I'm saying? I sprinkled some lemon pepper. You know, I made sure the wings were clean. You know, washed the wings, everything like that. Sprinkled some lemon pepper on them for seasoning, and then I, you know, dropped them in some olive oil. So um, I had um, fried um, chicken in olive oil. olive oil, no flour. Lemon pepper. Um, and with um, generous soul sauce on it. And general soul sauce on it. homemade shrimp fried rice which it really wasn't fried but you know what I'm saying but you know it was homemade so to speak you know um, the ingredients with that was of course shrimp um, olive oil uh, liquid aminos That's what I had. That's what I had last night. Oh, and cucumbers. I had cucumbers on the side. And that's why I'm going to eat again for lunch today because I still have some chicken from last night. Got four pieces left and uh, some rice. So that's what I'm going to eat for my uh, lunch as well. Now, when I say that um, my blood sugar was high last night before dinner, it's not because of my meal, obviously, because it was before dinner. But some of y'all already know. Some of y'all already know. It was some daggone queso chips. And now, I'm going to tell y'all like this. Today is going to be my last time eating queso chips for a good little minute. Y'all remember, um, it was a couple months ago, you know, before I um, did my five-day eat green challenge back in, back last month, of course, in June. Um, I stayed away from queso chips for a whole month. But this time, I'm not going to do no set date because I don't like shaking stuff like that i really don't but i'm just not going to do it right now for the foreseeable future because i love them queso chips but that is a, that is obviously a part of i mean they a nice little snack don't get it twisted now they're a nice little snack and you eat them in moderation but ain't no backslide in here because of the simple fact all I gotta do is remember. And before, like I say, before February, the last time I was in the hospital for myself was after I came out my mama. So with that being said, I ain't trying to be back up in no hospital no more anytime soon. 
unless they carted my carcass off. Other than that, nah. I ain't trying to stay up in there no time soon. Ever again. You feel me? Anywho. About to get into these numbers from yesterday. Get into the numbers for this morning. And sounds like Grand Hustle. Let's see. The numbers for yesterday read like this. Before lunch was 98. I mean, before breakfast was 98. Before lunch was 68. Which is why I didn't mind, you know, gorging a little bit. Because my number at lunch was low. It was the same number that it was the day before, before lunch. 68. And y'all know I like keeping my numbers between 80 through 140. You know, I, I don't know why I set those numbers for myself. I mean, I just, I, I like those numbers. You know, so 80 through 140 is cool with me. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's not all the way low, and it's not all the way high. And so uh, for dinner, before dinner was uh, 162 yesterday, which is still good, but higher than you know my my target numbers that I like. Like if you got 162, I mean, hey, you you still doing good in comparison. But for me, I like my numbers between 80 through 140, and so that's where we plan on keeping them for the foreseeable future, like forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. You feel me? Anyway, let's go ahead and salt bay these, salt bay with the raisins. Man, a lot of new raisins missed. Uh, these raisins I got are um, Southern Grove, California raisins. I'm not using my sun maids today. I'm trying to save my sun maids for probably when I do my re-up on my raisin water. Got my raisin water in the refrigerator right now, cooling right now. Um, I didn't want to refill my raisin water because, you know, the last water that I put in there was my the last drink of my alkaline water that I had. So next time I re-up on the raisin water, it'll be, you know, regular tap. So, um, I'm ready to eat this oatmeal now. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, but I still gotta do my number for this morning before I get my munch on. So let's do that real quick. Meantime, between times, we about to do the shout outs, y'all, while I'm getting this together. Shout outs, of course, first and foremost to my live chat crew, my regulars, every Gavala, the Greek goddess, you know what I'm saying? She's missed over here on the channel, you know what I'm saying? She's been working hard. Remember, y'all, we in a six hour difference from each other, so, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it'd be hard for the girl to get on when she can, but yo, we appreciate her, and she been busting her butt off, that's why y'all ain't been seeing her do no videos, so for those who keep up with her on her channel, that's why you ain't been seeing no videos lately, because, you know, she been, she been back to work, you know what I'm saying, so, shout outs to Evie, you know what I'm saying, proud of her, you know what I'm saying, you know, out there grinding, and hope she being safe and all that good stuff, while she out and about, shout outs to Queen Candace, who of course came in yesterday doing the live chat, while she was at work yesterday appreciate her you know what i'm saying for you know um watching watching your goat while she was at the job you feel me so appreciate you appreciate you appreciate you um sexy trees 1408 aka latrice godfrey you know what i'm saying who've been holding it down you know what i'm saying as my mom during um some of my latest premieres especially um the last um premieres um with ghost of uh, tashima and um the jesus uh drip video the jesus get some makeover video and you know much more you know what i'm saying we go back to our broadcasting days you know what i'm saying straight up like that there you know what i'm saying atl all day every day and of course last but not least the person who has known me the longest outside of my papa that's living and breathing right now and that be of course my sister latonya porter you know what i'm saying sis be holding it down making it do what it do shout outs to her shout outs to my nieces shout outs to my nephews you know what i'm saying making it do what it do you feel me um uh and her birthday month is coming up y'all so if y'all want to hit her up with some um something on her cash app dollar sign cream Dollar sign cream. What is it? 08. 08. Is it 0822? Or is it 0867? I don't forget. I don't know. I literally forgot. 
So I'm gonna come back to that. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the live chat. Um, let me know in the live chat or in the playback. Uh, sis, uh, what your uh, cash app is. You know what I'm saying? Put your cash app up in here so we can dad on. Make sure. You know what I'm saying? Get some for your birthday. Because it's a celebration, y'all. Um, I want to say it's 08. I know her. I know her. Um, I know her Instagram is cream0822. I think her cash app is cream0867. Is it cream0867? It should have been the same as her uh, Instagram, though. Because I know her Instagram is cream0822. Even though she don't use Instagram, y'all. I made her Instagram so she can be out there in the world who knows Janet Jackson might respond to it one day you know she's a big Janet Jackson fan I'm a big Janet Jackson fan too you know what I'm saying you know I wanted to be his uh, brother-in-law so but, uh, okay what am I doing I'm supposed to be doing my thing right here and then after I do my reading for this morning then I shout out everybody else who left comments yesterday in the in, uh, regular comments and in the um, live chat and the live commentary for yesterday and then we gonna um, be done you feel me uh, we already hit over the 15 minute mark which is cool it's all good we ain't stressing about that you know what I'm saying as long as this uploads smoothly we should have no problem you feel me Let that sit for a little second. Now let's get into yesterday's commentary. What's up, world? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that boy just wild. Team Gravely. Team Gravely says, hey bro, raw uncut is real. It raw uncut is keep it real. That one Tom Map. Team Gravely, appreciate you for your comment. Brenda Miller with the five thumbs up. You know what I mean? One, two, three, four, five. Appreciate you. And Latanya Porter says, hey, bro, bro, those are my comments for yesterday, as of yesterday, in the regular comment section. And um, in the live chat section, let's see, we got we got Queen Candice, Sexy Trees 1408, Latanya Porter, and that's it. That's what we got right there. So, once again, if you want to be shouted out on tomorrow's video which is day 150 you need to be right here in these comments you feel me 87 y'all 87 is the number for this morning baby what time about that right now <laughs> come on anyway 87 is the number for this morning you feel me 87 87 87 was a great year 87 1987 was a great year a great year for movies y'all that's literally one of my favorite years of the 80s uh what are your memories of the year 1987 what are your memories of the year 1987 i can tell y'all a few key things about 1987 um my cousin was born that year shout outs to pharaoh's rise if you've seen the music videos that i, that I recently posted up um that i um film that I did the uh, film work on um tell me and right side by Pharaoh's rise um yeah Pharaoh's rise uh that's my cousin she was born in 87 um monster squad one of my favorite movies you know what I'm saying as a children monster squad robocop masters of the universe even though it did not age well but you know it was big at the time you know what I'm saying? Uh, the He-Man movie with Dolph Lundgren and um, Frank Langella, which, you know, his performance as Skeletor is still A1 to me. Um, Lethal Weapon, the first Lethal Weapon. Mel Gibson, Danny Glover. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people don't like what Mel Gibson had said on that recording years ago. But, I mean, that's literally what I would have said to my wife. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm just saying. I mean... I mean, I, hey, you know, the, the, the language was, you know, quite, you know, saying was quite, you know, racist in a sense. But I don't I don't know any black man in the world that want to probably said that to their wife one time. <laughs> like, hey, you know, let me dress like that. I mean, right <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, 
And you know, so you know, you know follow what you want, but you know, uh, yeah, man, that's it. Um, the Lost Boys. Um, as far as movies from 1987, what's your favorite movie from 1987? Any of those movies that I named right there? Or is it another movie from 1987 that you love? You know, because like I said, 1987 to me was definitely the year of movies. It was a great year. Um, I can't really think of any other year since then that had a great amount of movies that that is just memorable like that to me. I really can't think. Um... 2007 was a pretty okay year. I mean, that was the year 300 came out. The Grindhouse movies came out. You know, Death Proof and um, uh, Death Proof and Planet Terror. Um, Transformers, the first Transformers movie. Coincidentally, of course, 2007 was 20 years after 1987, so makes sense. 2017 I honestly can't think of any memorable movie from 2017 I mean I know it was a few good movies that came out in 2017 I mean you know particularly Marvel movies but outside of Marvel movies I can't really think of any movies off the top of my head that came out in 2017 you know I'm just thinking about years that ended with seven the years that I lived that ended with seven uh, 1997 Spawn came out which of course did not age well I was hyped when I first went to go see it in the movie theater, even though I was, I was hyped, but semi -hyped. I was hyped because I was excited that it was a Spawn movie, but then in the long run, of course, I wasn't really crazy about it because, of course, they whitewashed Terry, um, Spawn's friend in the movie. He's a black guy in the comic books, but they made him white in the movie, um, and, of course, you know, the special effects, you know, and not age well, and the movie was just bland overall, so... It's definitely one of those movies that, you know, could have been kept. That and uh, Batman and Robin, of course, directed by the late, the now late Joe Schumacher, who uh, died earlier this year. That, uh, well, not earlier this year, but what, like earlier this month or was it earlier this month? I think it was earlier this month or late last month. But um, he just recently died. Um, that movie, of course, kind of sealed his fate because that movie, you know, sucked. Bat nipples, never. No, nah. I don't know who decision that was. Who said, "Yeah, let's put some nipples on Batman"? And that wasn't the worst part of the movie, y'all. For those that never saw it, that wasn't even the worst part of the movie. And that was literally, I must say, that was Arnold Schwarzenegger's second worst movie. His first worst movie is Junior. I'm sorry, I, I never condone Junior. I only saw it one time just because it was on a Schwarzenegger. I never see that movie again. You can have that crap. <laughs> Psych. That's why. I, that's why I didn't like Alienation. Mm -mm. Nah, bro. <laughs> anyway, but um, we about to end this thing. I'm about to get into this thick old oatmeal. One of these days, I gotta get my consistency sound. Cause the other day, I think my oatmeal, I, 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 my oatmeal was off the chain the other day. Mm. Mm. It's not hot anymore though. I might put it more back in the microwave and heat it up a little bit. But um, hey. I appreciate y'all for coming through. I know this running a little long. Hopefully tomorrow. Yo, comment below. Comment below. Keyword today. Keyword today, y'all, is topic. So comment below so we can uh, figure out a topic for tomorrow, for day 150. What are we going to talk about on day 150? It's, tomorrow is day 150. Like, if I had been... You know, keeping up with these days, I wouldn't even know where we was at, where we would be at right now. I would just be like, hey, it's July, you know, July the 30th, 2020.
but today is day 149. What was I doing on day 49? Hmm, let's see. And the beauty of going back in time, right? Let's see what I was doing on day 49 real quick. What was I doing 100 days ago? 100 days ago, what was I doing? How was I looking? If I was looking sexy then, then I know I got to rework myself. Oh, no, I'm looking better now. That was funny right there. I think that what we're gonna start doing too, like go back to be like, like what were I, what was I doing a hundred days ago? <laughs> you know, because we can actually go back a hundred days ago and chronicle that thing, right? So, you know, crazy, right? Anyway, that's 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 wild, y'all. That's wild. So, yeah. Now that we can actually go back a hundred days ago, <laughs> you know, yeah, that part. And I know that was um in April, because I know I think day 50 was April the 23rd. No, nope. day 51 was April the 23rd. This was April the 21st. Oh yeah, that was a good day. That was a good day. That was that was that was a good day. Not in general, because April the 21st, four years ago was the death of Prince. April the 21st this year was a pretty good day. Though. Anyway. Ooh, what did I have? Hmm. Breakfast that morning, I obviously had oatmeal with cinnamon and raisins. Lunch, I had a pork loin roast, one slice, spinach with bacon bits and cucumbers. And dinner, I had one fried whole chicken wing. And that was courtesy of my dad because he cooked that for me. Three pieces of baked fish, spinach with bacon bits and cucumbers. Mm. That sounds good. That sounds real good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to get back on my spinach too. Get back on my Popeye, baby. You know what I'm saying? Bye -bye. That's solid, baby. That's solid. What you mean? That's solid, bye. Anyway, we got this thing. I don't know how this got so long, but we out this thing now. So, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. For real, though. Watch them videos. Watch them videos. Love.